Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just wanted to come and run my mouth and talk about love and hip hop Atlanta. All right, we're not going to go in any particular order. We're just going to talk about the people. All right, so Jessica White. Jessica White is in the studio, <laughs> girl, making some beats. Shout out to Nene Leaks. We're going to talk about Nene and Hot Topics. Um, Bambi swings by, and she says that she thought that she was going to be walking into a whole ratchet vibe. Now, I don't know anything about Jessica White. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't meet Jessica White or look at Jessica White and think that if she invited me to the studio, that I will be walking into a ratchet vibe. Now, no tea, no shade. If Bambi invited me to the studio, I would think that I would be walking into a ratchet vibe. Right. Um, later in the episode, Jessica formally meets uh, or officially meets uh, Safari. I'm assuming for the first time. Um, Safari gets on my nerves. Safari is such an attention seeker. Like the way that he acted when when Spice arrived. So basically, Carly was th throwing a gender reveal party for her daughter. Her daughter's having a girl. They found out in the episode. So as you know, the people arrive one by one. Everybody's walking in. Spice arrives. He gets to hollering and screaming, falling on his knees, just causing a big scene. It even looked like Spice was uncomfortable for a second. Like, you doing a lot, girl. Girl, you doing a lot. It was somebody else that arrived, too, and Safari started cutting up and acting the fool. Like, you could just tell he likes attention to be on him. Um, Him and Jessica White were having a conversation. I forgot how relationships came up. I know they were talking about, he asked her how tall she was. Oh, he asked her how tall she was with heels. And she said uh, six feet. And then I guess with the heels she had on, I thought she was tall. She looked taller. Than, I thought she was about to say six foot three because she looked tall. Um, Safari said he's six foot four. I've seen Safari in person. I didn't know. I was like, he got to be because when she stood up, he was still taller than her. I didn't know. he. I didn't realize he was that tall. Anyways. Um, they somehow the conversation goes into who she used to talk to. She didn't say Nick Cannon's name. She said, "I won't say his name. I'll show you a picture of his face." So she showed she showed Safari a picture of Nick's face, and here you go, <laughs> Nick Cannon. I said, "Girl, girl, y'all be talking about the girls and the girls is messy, girl. These men, these straight men, they just be they be just as messy as as us. We gonna get into chaotic in a little bit." So they start having a conversation, and Jessica starts to talk about how she's submissive, and when she was with Nick, um, he was, I guess. I don't know if she was trying to say. Sometimes I get confused on. Because she said that she was not allowed. I guess to be with other people. It sounded like to me that they that they were in an open relationship and Nick was allowed to go out and sleep with who he wanted to sleep with. But Jessica couldn't. Because. If you're in a poly relationship, then everybody knows about everybody. And even if that, even if Nick is sleeping with one of your sister wives, I guess, it's not like a surprise. So I really didn't know. I don't know. I was, you know, I was just like, oh, were you in an open relationship or were you in a poly relationship? I feel like they were in an open relationship. And Nick was able to move the way he wanted to move, but he wouldn't allow Jessica to move the way that she wanted to move. But she's submissive. You know, my good eyes on Jessica White, girl, I don't know about Jessica, honey. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. Um, and I'm going to tell you why. I don't think, I, I'm, I, I'll say this much. I'm not mad at anybody. If you come into a situation and, for example, excuse me, we'll just use Safari and Erica as an example. You don't know Safari. You don't know Erica. You've probably heard Scuttlebutt around town. You don't know the facts. So you don't really want to take a side. I don't know, child. I don't know neither one of them, honey. I don't know what's going on in their marriage. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I could rock with that. But the thing that made me side-eye Jessica is when she was like, 
I know Erica and I I know her story. What did she say? No, Jessica says she's seen Erica's hurt firsthand, but she doesn't know Safari. And basically, she only she's only she only knows what she heard. And so she doesn't really want to just, I guess, hop on the I hate safari train, which is fine. But girl, if if you're going to acknowledge that you've seen Erica's hurt firsthand, then is it also acknowledging that there's a possibility that Safari inflicted that pain? Or are you saying that you saw her hurt firsthand? but you really don't know if her hurt has anything to do with Safari. So therefore, I really can't choose no size. I feel like with Jessica White being in the situation that she just got out of with Nick Cannon, because this is what I see as being very repetitive with these women. They all go through the same thing with these men. Bambi, Erica, Mena, Ciara, Jessica White, Rashida, girl, all of them. But they'll still turn around and, for whatever reason, give the man the benefit of the doubt. I would think because Jessica White has been through what she's been through, and then she's saying that she sees Erica's uh, um, hurt firsthand, that girl, she will make Safari, <laughs> she will make Safari prove to her that he's not what the people say that he is, and not necessarily give him the benefit of the doubt. Does that make sense? <laughs> And then she was basically saying how Safari needs to keep good women around him who will hold him accountable, I guess, and be friends. I don't know, Jessica, girl. My gut, my eyes on you. Mm, I don't know. The jury's still out on Jessica White. But you gorgeous, though. <laughs> that don't mean nothing. <laughs> um, okay, Rashida, Carly, and Mina. I'm I'm really I'm <laughs> I know I just got back into love and hip hop, but I'm really over the whole Spice Carly storyline. I am. I'm sick and tired of hearing Spice yell and scream. Half of the time, I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> girl, I gotta rewind the scenes fifteen times to try to make out what she's saying, girl. And then when she get excited, girl, you really don't know what she's saying. So it'd be a lot going on. Um. But we like Spice, but I think I'm over it. Um, Rashida, for whatever reason, I guess feels the need to, I guess, you know, insert herself and try to and try to explain to Carly why Spice is upset. So it sounds like to me, correct me if I'm wrong, Mina and Grace, aka Spice, are best friends. So uh, Erica met, not Erica, Carly. Was I saying Erica? Carly met Mina through Spice. Now, Mina and Erica are friends. And Spice is upset at Carly, so she feels that Grace, I mean, that Mina should be upset at Carly because she said, because Mina said at the at the gender reveal, so if you're up, you're gonna be make you're gonna make up with her in two months, and then she said, Well, you should you should stay mad at her for two months. It's given kind of childish in a way. Um, some of you explained to me in the in the comment section about Carly. I will say my good eye is on Carly, but I also kind of stand by what I said. I do feel like Spice is overreacting to some of the stuff. I do. The house stuff, okay, I get it. You don't want everybody to live beside you, family, friends, sister, brother, uncle, cousin, grandmama. I get it. I don't know. Even with the Grammy song, is Spice, I'll, I'm just going to say this, is Spice is that serious about her craft and the work that she puts out? It shouldn't matter if Carly submitted the song or not, because if you just, why would you slap your name on something that you think is trash? You think Beyonce going to work with everybody? You think Jay-Z going to work with everybody? You think Rihanna going to work with everybody? You think Nicki Minaj going to work with everybody? Like, I'm just saying, like, if you did the song, 
And the other artist, which will be Carly Red, submitted the song for Grammy nomination. You did the song? <laughs> so what's the tea down? Because I guarantee you, you wouldn't have been mad if you got nominated for a Grammy. <laughs> For that song, I know she got nominated for her album. Anyways, Carly says that she had already been looking at that area, I guess, in 2020. Carly be lying, too. I think Carly be acting. Carly is definitely acting. I got receipts. I can show some receipts. I can show some receipts. I said, girl, what is she doing? <laughs> what is you doing, girl? Carly is basically saying that it wasn't just like she upped and moved to uh, across from Spice. She had already been looking, I guess, in the area since 2020. I guess she was going to get a house built there. Carly started talking something about, girl, they paid her $100,000 to move in. Girl, what? Like I said, I, I'm over the whole Spice and Carly Red storyline. Uh, story um, baby, Carly says, bitch, girl, I'm saying when I holler. Carly started coming up with excuses. <laughs> My grandmother passed away, literally. <laughs> I said, well, girl. Well, girl, if you say your grandma, if you say your big mama passed away, then I would hope it would be literally. <laughs> I said, well, bitch. Uh, then she said her mama was in the hospital. I hollered when Rashida basically told Carly, I'm not trying to be mean, but girl, what they got to do with anything? Because quiet as this kept, I hate to say it. No, I'm just going to say it. Carly, Carly, grandmama passing away and her mama being in the hospital at that current moment. They got nothing to do with you being in that house. Girl, girl, Car just like somebody said in the comment section, Carly should have just said, look, I found a deal. The deal was good. I couldn't pass it up and I'm living in this house. That's it. But I think when you start to go down this path, this, this, this rabbit hole of excuses or reasons, not excuses, but reasons of why and this happened and I did this, it's kind of like, I think if Carly just would have said in 20, I was already looking at this property in 2020 before, before Spice was even looking over here. I was looking in this area. So this ain't got nothing to do with Spice. It just so happened that girl, the house that I chose was a house across from hers. I don't know, girl. The Rashida, the, 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 the Spice and uh, Erica, I mean, Carly storyline, I feel like it's all over the place. I feel like Carly is not telling the truth in some areas, but I also feel like Spice is a look too dramatic for me. <laughs> and I feel like the, re the, th the things that I've heard that Carly has supposedly done to her I, I could see how it could be a, a conversation, maybe, you know, a conversation may be needed. I could see how you could be irritated and frustrated, but I don't know if it would be enough to like where I would want to end a friend, uh, where she, she should want to end a friendship or, you know, and she, and she might just be mad for the moment and she'll forgive Carly Red in a couple of, in a couple of months, like she said. Anyways, um, Erica, uh, Erica Banks, Erica Mena, and Chaotic. Girl, so basically, he, Chaotic and Erica told um, Erica Mena together that Diamond is supposed to be pregnant. Pregnant. Here go Chaotic. Just don't, don't, don't say, don't say you heard it from me. Say you heard, say that Amy told Erica and Erica told you. Yeah, <laughs> I think the niggas be messy, girl. They gonna be messy. They just don't want you to say, they, they just don't want you to say they got nothing to do with it, okay? Um, Ciara and her family. Ciara is basically moving out of the house. She tells her family that she has been married for a few months. Eric comes home looking stressed. I said, "Oh, baby, Eric looks stressed." When I said, "Baby, girl, Eric look," I said, "Girl, I just saw you episode one, girl. How you aged, girl? Fifteen years in three episodes." <laughs> oh my God. But she said you look like an eighty year old man. I said she is not lying, um, girl. I don't know what's going on, but he did say that they got a ten thousand dollar mortgage or rent. I'm assuming that they're renting. I don't know, girl. I mean, the girls pay a lot for their mortgages. 
But girl, I, I was like, girl, for you just to be up and moving like that, is your name, your name, my girlfriend? Your credit must not going to be fucked up because you just up and moving in the middle of a lease. Girl, I would have to just sit it out because girl, she just started getting her credit together and I cannot go back down here. So we're going to have to sit in this house together. <laughs> Unless it's a loophole, okay? But she moving out nonetheless. Did y'all hear when he said that Sierra's sister told him that Sierra had smashed another man? <laughs> well, he didn't say smashed. He said had sex with, a, I guess, a rapper. She did it. <laughs> she did it. She didn't deny it, but she did it. I'm still trying to figure out why her sister was telling her business. See, you got to watch your family members. Them be the main motherfuckers you got to watch out for. Cause they, they, them, them be the enemies, okay? Um, they shouldn't have just never been together. That's what it comes down to. They shouldn't have never been together. They really didn't know each other. You married this man. You say he lied about... He basically presented himself as someone who he's not. He, he, she said that he lied about, I guess, his women. I guess if he was really involved with other women, he lied about his business. So you really don't even know, girl. You don't, you don't marry somebody, you don't even know how much they make. Girl. You don't know how their money set up. You don't know how their credit set up. You don't know nothing. Because he lied about his business. That's what she said. Um, Oh, at one point during the episode, they all got together and had. That's what. That's what I be saying. Like, I, I won't. I hate to. I hate to be the person to say it, but y'all gonna have to snap out of that fantasy world that y'all live in. They're literally having a conversation about it was. It was Bambi, Sierra. It was at the gender reveal party. It was Mina, Bambi, Safari, um, Sierra. It was a group of them at the party having a conversation. And basically, Safari, you know, basically said in a way that I guess when he met Erica, that she was softer. She was very, you know, I guess he was basically saying soft. But now she's very, but this is the gag, right? Again, when you look at these group of women, and not even just this group of women, a lot of these women on reality TV, girl, y'all be going through the same stuff. <laughs> it literally be the same story, just different cast. And you would think that with y'all, all y'all, a lot of them having the same story that they would snap out of and realize that that fantasy that they want to live in, it's just not, it's not reality, girl. Y'all want to sit back and be with these men and you think that you're going to be able to be soft. And this is another thing. The men want you to be this soft, you know, um, just, you know, soft person and, they want to be able to bring chaos and confusion in your home, but they want you to remain soft. So like Safari. Safari wants to be able to go out in the streets, go to Miami, go to Jamaica, pop lock and drop it. Girl, take shots while his wife is in the NICU with their son. And then he's shocked when Erica girl starts to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't make sense on their end, and it doesn't make sense on the women's end because y'all keep getting with these men, expecting y'all gonna be these just soft men. I'm just wanna, I just, I'm gonna be soft. I wanna be soft, but girl, you're not with a nigga who gonna even let you be that person. Hello, girl. And they keep showing y'all over and over and over and over and over again that they're not that person, which means that you're not gonna be that soft person because you're gonna be too busy, girl, trying to up the house because see, I heard acting a fool. But I, I don't know nothing, girl. I'm just watching. I'm just reporting when I see, honey. Um, and then Scrappy and uh, Scrappy and Erica meant to get into it, girl. It was so dramatic, child. Um, she did it all wrong in a way. She didn't even. She should have asked Safar. She should have asked Scrappy. Listen, the word on the curb is. Diamond is pregnant. Is that true? She didn't say that. She said um, they were going back and forth. And she was like, oh, is this why you got Diamond pregnant? <laughs> Which then at that point, it kind of gave Scrappy a little ammunition to be like, see, that's what I be talking about. You hear, you believe everything you hear. Because he was on some real like, you only listen to one side. You don't know both sides. And so when she said that, it did kind of, in my opinion, give him the ammunition to now say what he said. See, this is what I'm talking about. 
everything somebody say, you believe, which <laughs> if Diamond ain't pregnant, it kind of proves his point in that in that in that instant in that in that scene um erica said they go harder for their homies than they do to keep their home y'all know it y'all know it y'all don't want to believe it but y'all know it not y'all i'm talking about erica and them um well some of y'all too know tino shay um <laughs> and then erica you know erica saw us uh, hollering and screaming don't play with me all you saw was teeth Girl, when I tell you, all you saw was teeth. Girl, when I tell you, Erica, baby, Safari has stressed that woman out. When I tell you, all you could see was teeth, teeth, and mo teeth. I said, oh my goodness. Girl. Anyways, don't play with me. And then here goes Safari. I mean, here goes, I keep saying Safari. Here goes Scrappy. Uh, so this is Eric. Like, imagine I'm Erica, and this is Safari right here on the side of her. So Safari is yelling at Erica, and Erica is look, just looking straight ahead. And he was like, um, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Because I'm a real nigga. I go hard. And she's in there like this. <laughs> I said, yeah. I said, first of all, girl, what you being a real nigga got to do with anything? Girl, I don't know. 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 I was just like, girl, this is the best girl. I said, girl, the girl, girl, MTV must have told the girls y'all gonna have to do a whole bunch of hollering and screaming and y'all gonna have to take it up about five notches because everybody been hollering, everybody been screaming, and everybody been crying. Girl, I said, if I see Carly Red cry one, one more time. Okay, I guess I do have to admit that Carly Red is a little bit of full of shit. I mean, it's just a tad bit full of shit. Just a tad bit. Because like I said, I think Carly do, I, when Carly was talking with Rashida and Mina, I was like, oh, girl, you be lying. And then girl, I caught her in a lie, too. Because Mina said that basically she doesn't even talk about Spice when, no, Car, no, Mina said basically when you try and talk about she was talking to rashida and carly when you try and talk about spice i said i don't want to talk about spice and then here go carly red we really don't talk about her we don't talk about her we don't talk about her carly you probably talk about spice now i'm not saying you talk about spice in a negative way because i think that's the thing when people hear that someone has talked about them you should probably and i think this is for all of us we should first find out well what did the person say because they could have been talking about you and saying that you was one of the baddest bitches walking around all they could have been talking about you was saying, girl, you dumb, you stupid, and you trifle, you tired, and you through. <laughs> so if, if Carly was venting to Mina and was like, I'm so sad that, you know, I feel some type of way about Spice being upset at me. I just wish we could have a conversation. That's one thing. I don't think that's necessarily talking about someone, right? But if, if, if Carly was over there like, yeah, F Spice, I don't give a damn, blah, 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 then that's a whole different situation. Um, so I don't know what Carly, I don't know the conversations that she's had with our, with Mina or the conversations she's tried to have with Mina, but Spice's name has definitely come up a conversation because I believe Mina, when she says, girl, when you try and bring Carly up, I mean, when you try to bring Spice up, I shut it down. Now, I don't know if I believe she shuts it all the way down. I don't know. I don't know, child. Anyways, that's it. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.